you are looking at a remarkable idea. An idea that has intrigued and attracted and literally thrilled thousands upon thousands of men, women, and children. And you, my friends, are about to witness this idea become a reality. For this is the story of the miracle sea in the desert, the Salton Sea. The Salton Sea is California's largest body of water. Expanding over 340 square miles between Riverside and Imperial County, it offers one of California's most unique landscapes. And it's not even supposed to be there. In the 1900s, construction workers had finished building canals to irrigate the Salton Sink Basin. These canals would divert water from the Colorado River into the Imperial Valley, allowing farmers to plant crops in the area. However, in 1905, the Colorado River flooded, resulting in overflow water sluicing down into the Salton Sink Basin, filling it over the next two years before it could be stopped. People believed that in such a hot and dry climate, the new sea would just evaporate in a short time. Decades passed by and they began to realize it wasn't going to go away. That's when the golden idea struck. Dubbed the Miracle in the Desert, the surrounding beaches were developed into towns and resorts for people to flock to during the 1960s. It was a pretty groovy area with places like hotels, yacht clubs, and tons of residential neighborhoods and roads. No, seriously, like, they went overboard with these. The land was fertile enough to grow almost anything. There were 37 golf courses there at one point. The Salton Sea was amazing to fish in with how much you could catch from it. Salton City was designed to be a growing city. It had everything you could need to live in the area. Service stations, grocery stores, post office, the Chamber of Commerce, delicatessen and laundromat, light, smog-free industry, mobile home parks, a branch of Bank of America, Julius Boris, Al Guyberger, Bruce Devlin, Mike Suchak, Bobby Nichols, as well as celebrities from the entertainment world. It was a lively place to live. So what happened? The Salton Sea is kept fed by agricultural runoff containing pesticides and all sorts of pollutants. Because it's at such a low altitude below sea level, the lake has no outflow. Everything that goes into the lake stays in the lake. Over time, the lake dries up and everything in it becomes more concentrated. The salinity level rises and fish living in the Salton Sea start to die off. On the northern beaches, you can find shores made of barnacle and fish remains. Toxic chemicals and metals that sank to the bottom of the lake become exposed once this water becomes dried up. The newly formed playa gets picked up by desert winds and is blown across the desert communities, introducing big health concerns. To get an idea of what to expect when the lake really dries up, look towards the Aral Sea and its immediate communities. Constant dust storms from the lake's playa ruin the air quality, but we have plenty of time before that starts happening. Toxic dust and asthma plague salt and sea communities. As salt and sea shrinks, experts fear far-reaching health consequences. As California's largest lake dries up, it threatens nearby communities with clouds of toxic dust. Imperial County declares salt and sea emergency, demands California take action. Toxic dust from a dying California lake. The salt and sea is a disaster in the making. California isn't doing anything to stop it. It seems like all hope is lost for the Salton Sea. Are there any plans to save it? Yes. One proposed plan to help save the sea is the Salton Sea Management Program. It is a 10-year plan that aims to create 9,000 acres of habitat and dust suppression projects short-term, expanding into 25,000 acres over time. By covering the toxic playa and expanding the habitable areas of the sea, it just might be enough to restore it. A similar plan is the North Lake Vision, calling for creating a smaller, more hospitable lake within the Salton Sea's northern shore. The Salton Sea was once a treasure of California. These days, the only people who visit the Salton Sea are there to see what the apocalypse will look like. There is still time to restore the sea's former glory. Just imagine what visiting the sea could be like. <laughs>